Beyond their roles as Lucy and Ethel on 50s TV show I Love Lucy, Lucille Ball and Vivian Vance were friends to the end, literally. In many ways, life on the set of a TV show is not unlike life in an office. People show up to work on a certain schedule, put in their hours, collect their paycheck, and go home. Meanwhile, workers in the TV industry have to deal with interpersonal relationships between co-workers in much the same way that workers in any other jobs will have to. That means there will be an occasional battle of wills or hurt feelings, and indeed, some people may grow to hate each other. Similarly, the people who work together on the set may find that they become lifelong friends. Such was the case with Lucille Ball and Vivian Vance, according to Showbiz Cheat Sheet. The two women were best friends on the screen, and they were best friends in real life as well, up until Vance's death in 1979. When Lucille Ball and Vivian Vance arrived for their first day of work on the set of I Love Lucy back in 1951, Ball was a big-name TV actress, while Vance was mostly known for her work on Broadway, as People reports. Ball would later write in her book that she knew from the moment she met her that she had struck gold. As Showbiz Cheat Sheet explains, Ball wrote, As far as I was concerned, it was kismet. Viv and I were extraordinarily compatible. Their friendship wasn't just limited to the screen. They were best friends off-screen as well. Ball's daughter, Lucy Arnaz, would later say via Outsider that their friendship was for life. She said, My mother and Vivian were really good friends in real life, and they adored one another. Vivian was one of the funniest people on the planet, truly, truly funny. And when she would get together with my mother, it was lovely. Of course, all friendships have their ups and downs, and on the set of I Love Lucy, that friendship was tested during the show's final season. At the time, both Lucille Ball and Vivian Vance were on the verge of divorces with husbands with whom they'd spent nearly 20 years. There are times when married couples let their lives fall into set patterns. That's exactly what's happened to us. Right. As Showbiz Cheat Sheet says, the two went to work one day during a particularly rough patch, both having short tempers while shooting. As Ball said, one day, Vivian and I had a disagreement on set and stopped speaking. The silence went on much longer than either of us anticipated. It got to be a nuisance, since we were so used to listening carefully to each other's lines and making suggestions. As is often the case with true friendships, the animosity didn't last long. That same day, one hour before the performance, Ball finally broke down and talked to Vance about their lines. Well! I'm sorry, Ethel. I just couldn't stand it any longer. Oh! They were sitting side by side at a mirror, putting their makeup on, and Ball told Vance she didn't think Vance was reading a line quite right. Vance admitted she had a point, and asked Ball why she hadn't spoken up earlier. Ball replied, well, we weren't speaking, and I'd be damned if I'd tell you. They broke down laughing, and that was that. By 1979, Vivian Vance knew that she was dying from advanced bone cancer. In a truly heartbreaking turn, doctors had originally thought Vance had breast cancer and, as Outsider says, had performed a mastectomy in an attempt to treat her illness. She then went through chemotherapy, but to no effect. This happened over a decade after The Lucy Show finished in 1968, and Ball and Vance remained as inseparable as always. Before Vance died, Ball visited her to see each other one final time at Vance's Belvedere, California home. Vance was brought into the living room, laid on the couch, and she and Ball had lunch together. By all accounts, there was as much grief present as there was love. Paige Peterson, daughter of Vance's landlord, who'd grown close to Vance in her last days, said, You could hear them laughing, and towards the end, there was a lot of sobbing. It was an amazing thing to witness, the love of these two women. Ball was completely inconsolable after Vance died. Ball's daughter, Lucy Arnez, said, She cried about losing Viv for months after that. Viv was, in many ways, like a sister to my mother. She could talk to mom like nobody else, and I don't think my mother could confide in many people the way she would with Viv. 